Big Day Hunter 65 non-stop barbecue days in a row and we are cooking up Trader Joe's lightly smoked sardines in olive oil. We're going to use our behind the car seat uh, bug out kit, um, fold a stove, and my we're going to use my homemade uh, fire bomb. Hi Diego, how to YouTube? Welcome to the farmhouse. A deck of playing cards that have survival tips on it. That a folding stove that has some more tablets in it, and a multi-tool for the folding stove. But it does have a knife and a screwdriver. All right. As I go through my kit, I realize that I did not have everything I used to have in my fire kit. So I got. The ingredients I need, some cotton balls, some Vaseline, and some paper towels. And a plastic bag to put them all in. And these are um, basic little fire balls that you can make for your kit. A uh, fire kit and they will light with a straw. It's really easy. You just roll up a... this up so the tender will catch better and it just oh and you pull it out a little bit so the Vaseline's outside of the, uh, of the core and then you fluff it up and it'll catch the spark and light the Vaseline will light and your whole thing will take off. Now that's the everyday carry kit that I have in the back seat of my car. It's on actually a, a hangs behind the passenger seat. That is always in my car. Not a lot of stuff to lose, but a lot of stuff that can help you out. Oh, I tried to sign into YouTube again tonight. And it says, Sorry, something went wrong. A team of highly trained monkeys has been dispatched to deal with the situation. If you see them, show them this information. in a row. Let's get this show on the road. Hope everything works out all right. So the first thing you want to do here is uh,
cotton ball. Oh, this one feels like it's got quite a bit of Vaseline in it, so it should start up real quick and easy. But I do this, I do this, so it'll catch the, the tinder, the spark, real easy. And, you know, depending on how you aim it, you'll hit it the first time or the second time. Almost. Oops. Or maybe not. There we go. It's a bit windy out tonight. Tonight. I'm going to let this all burn around the top before I put this on because it's I don't want to I don't want to put it out before it gets burning. You know, see the flames almost burned all the way around the top now. That will be a good time to probably put your food on top. However, you never want to put it on. You, you got to open this lid. You don't got to open it all the way. Oops. You want to open it up so um, it won't blow up. Now I've got oil all over it, so who knows what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, we have a paper towel, don't we? Alright, so you know it's been a hard day. You ran out of gas out in the middle of nowhere. You've got no cell phone reception. You're sheltering in your car, whatever. This is a good way to heat up some food. So you have some nice warm food. Maybe your car broke down and you're hoofing it. Um, we only got a poncho, so, you know, it's, I, it's not a preferred thing. I would have wanted to grab at least two of my kits if I was going to hoof it, but as you can see, this flame is producing a lot of, or this fire bomb is producing a lot of flame. And we're already getting boiling action going on here. I'm going to use my uh, multi-tool to slowly rotate this around so you have a better view. Now as I don't need this much flame, I don't need it covering this way, I'm moving it and it's still boiling um, an awful lot. So that one little, um, as you can see very well, you see from this side, we can heat up a, a probably could have done two cans on this little stove with this little cotton um, Cotton ball, Vaseline, and paper towel firebomb. How cool is that? You see that? You zoom in on that, will you? Now we're actually feeding the cotton ball fire from the oil from the sardines. And I think that means it's probably getting close to getting done. All right, here we have our sardines, and we have some brown rice. And I'm just going to peel the can open I'm going to set a couple of fish on top of the rice for Angie to enjoy. The can is still very hot, so I want to do this quick. And she said just a couple of fish, don't put them all on, so we won't. And we'll simply try stabbing one. Oh, look, they fall apart. We won't stab the other one. Warm to the touch. All right, day 165, non-stop barbecue marathon, days in a row. Can slightly smoked sardines and brown rice.